this is Rita Mercia, your local realtor, bringing you information that's important to you. Uh, yesterday we had Governor of California of Association Realtors that actually had come and given us a presentation about the eviction, landlord, and the general tenant rules out there. So I made some notes that I may look into in between and uh, here we go. So if you have a tenant in the property that has not been paying rent since the March till the September time frame, you cannot use that as a reason to evict them. You are allowed to collect 25% of a rent from the September 1st until the February 2021, but you have to give them a form that actually is a declaration of the COVID situation. And if you're on that form, they can actually verify just by writing it down that they have for hardship still they don't have to pay even that 25%. You're allowed to go to the superior court if you actually do want to, but you're not gonna get anything for at least two years as a, even a date from there, because in these times, they're just not even looking at any kind of an eviction related to the COVID situation for your for the tenants out there. So how are you going to be able to collect that money that you have not been getting paid for last six months, and you may not be able to get collected for next another six months or so. Um, you can file for a, in a small claim court for the money that you that the tenant owe, but I would recommend to do it right now unless your tenant actually has some way of making those payments. Um, only way you can uh, you know work around that is to talk to your lender and request for forbiddance, which means the delay in your mortgage payment. Um, if you have the rent that you need to pay or the mortgage that you have to pay, um, you can actually attach that at the end of the loan period, pay in installments, or you may be allowed to pay that amount when you actually sell the property. So there are only those three ways that if you actually have a loan on it that you can, uh, and you're not able to make the payments. But if your home is fully paid off and the renters are not able to pay you the rent, then there is no way for you to collect those funds uh, or write off any other places. You are still required to pay your property taxes and your HOA dues. Those are not forbidden or exempted unless HOA has some regulations that they have made their rules in, in within their uh, organizations. Uh, next thing is um, your ability to get the possession back on the property. So if you actually plan to move yourself into the property, you're allowed to do so. If you're going to be selling the property to an owner occupant, you're allowed to do so, but you have to have a contract in hand before you can evict the tenant out there. Number three, you actually cannot sell the property to an investor. Because if you do so, investor is not going to buy the property if the current tenants are not paying for the for the leases, and if they are going to, you're going to sell it to an investor, then they they may actually uh, you know uh, do a exit for the current tenant, which is not allowed. So selling to an investor is not going to work in these times. Number four is if you actually um, want to remove the tenant by eviction process and you want to re-rent it to another tenant, that is not allowed either. So the reason for eviction cannot be the non-payment of the rent of the current tenant. That is just something being made simply out out, out into the rules. And you, it is going to last right now till February 2021. Um, other thing is there is that if you actually have a tenant who are in a high income uh, category, of a median um, income for that particular area. Uh, how are you gonna find that out? Based on whatever income that the tenant has put on your uh, documentation when you rent it out to them. If they fall under the high uh, income tenant category and they can uh, show it that their job has not been lost, they are required to make the payment and that is the only category under which you can actually do an eviction. If they're doing any kind of a violation, that means you rented it to one person, they're having four people living in the home, they actually not taking care of the home, they're damaging the property, you are allowed to do an eviction for that as well. So to cut it short, uh, it comes down to that at this point, until February 2021, tenant rights actually in the property are a lot more stronger. So if you are uh, having any kind of an issue uh, with uh, the property that is not that is rented and you're not collecting the payment, your only uh, out clause on that is to uh, utilize that non-payment towards 
um, not being able to pay the mortgage on the other side and ask for forbidance. And if the tenant are living in the property and they have financial hardship and they can declare that financial hardship is because of the COVID, then you don't have a recourse on there. Um, and on top of that, if you have any other question that you actually uh, would like to know specific to your scenario, call out to me. This is Sunita Murchia, 408-916-6135. I will find the answer for you that is relevant to your situation and your condition. Uh, you have a great day. Times are hard. Um, we all are in this together and uh, each situation is unique and different and I thank you all the landlords out there who are understanding these situations and helping those tenants who are under the financial hardship. And I thank you all those tenants who are making those payments. Um, there was a data that actually got pulled out a few months, a few weeks back that most tenants, if they are able to, they are making payments. So everybody wants to do the right thing. It's just times are hard. So thank you everybody for taking care of each other and uh, we'll get out of this all together. Uh, have a great day and I will see you on Thursday. This is Sunita Murchia, 408-916-6135. Have a great day.